Okay, let's do a lesson on Google Earth on uh, tours and paths. Let's do directions from Hampton to Wintergreen. And we're going to search those directions. And there's Google Earth, and it gives you your map. You got a list of uh, turns over here. If you click the top one, this is basically the folder that contains all these directions inside. And if you click on this icon, you're going to get a, what they call a tour. And the camera will fly over the purple line. And it will turn and proceed down the path. Down the left-hand corner here, you can speed up this tour. And you can pause it. And on an Apple Mac, you can do Apple comma will bring up the preferences. And you can actually speed up the tour. The camera range is the distance that the camera is above the ground. And you can also change the angle of degrees. So when it's low, it's more like you're looking straight down on the map. And when it's high, it's more like it's really, really tilted. Um, so you can see the horizon. So it doesn't matter if you click apply or OK, you have to re-trigger the tour for the changes to take effect. And now you'll see it's a little bit faster and it's a little bit straight down. And the world spins and it always keeps you in that same front, front pointed direction. If you want to change this, um, if we get out of this tour, we can make a path. But first what I'm going to do is I'm going to tilt this a little bit down like that. And you can make your own path to follow instead of the purple one. And the way you do that is click a new path. We're going to call this reference path, ref path. So you click a dot and you click a dot. You can go to style. You can change the color. Say we'll make it green and say we're going to make this eight pixels wide. That's eh, a little bit much, maybe six. And we'll click OK. But you have to be in edit mode to do it. So we're going to click on this dot and we're going to just click more dots and we're going to make this line more straight. And you can just go over top of the purple path with your green path and the camera will follow. You'll make the camera follow the green path. Now, if you want to edit a point, you have to click on it and it becomes, now it's blue. We can hit delete and it's gone. But it, what it does is it goes backwards to the beginning. So now the previous dot is highlighted and it's blue. So with this being highlighted, if I click out here, we're going to add a point after this blue point out here. Okay? Now, and if I click and drag, I can make a curve like that, and then the camera would follow the curve. So with this last blue point selected, it's blue, we can hit delete, and we can delete backwards back to the beginning. And what you would want to do is just make a path that kind of follows the purple but stays straight. And you could just do that, oops, you want to select the last dot to pick up. So there's a mistake that I showed you how you can fix your mistakes. Okay, so we're, gonna, we're done editing. We're going to click OK. And with this reference path selected, now you have the little path icon and the little play. The triangle means play. So we're going to play that, and it's going to play with the same parameters that you've had set up from before. So the angle and the speed are all going to be the same. But as you can see, the earth doesn't turn as much. And what you can do is you can turn this off. And you're really following the green line. But as you can see, the, the purple is still activated and highlighted. So you can see and you can see your turns. And you could do a screen capture of this if you're, if you're able to do that and transfer it to your iPod. And it would be a version of a, of a GPS, a little bit different than what you can buy out there. But um, you, know, you can practically do it for free. Uh, if you already have an iPhone or an iPod Touch, you don't have to go out and buy a $200, um, you know, GPS unit. Now, you see we're getting a little bit off track here, but if we turn this on, we're going to see the green line. So we're going to stop it, and we're going to get out of this mode. And with this selected, do Apple I. And so you see where these dots are. They're a little bit way too off to the side, so we have to go in here. We have to pull these guys in, get them closer to the purple. 
Oops. Delete, 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 delete. Pull them closer, then we're going to go OK. Now we're going to do it again, but again, I'm going to change the, the angle, I like more of an angle, and maybe speed it up a little bit, get it up into like the 50s. OK, so let's try it again. And there we go, and we're going to turn the path off. And the tour is going to follow the green line, not the purple. And there you go. I didn't realize you could do this in Google Earth. I thought it was really cool. I wanted to make a screencast about it, teach someone. Maybe they could use it, find it helpful, useful. So that's all I got. Hope you enjoyed the lesson. I just wanted to make sure that I uh, explained the way to edit a path is if you click on the path and click on control and then click, you'll get the contextual menu and you can go to get info. And this will let you edit the path. Now the dots on the line become editable. You can add a point and you can add a curve if you want to and you can select on a line and on a dot and delete when it becomes blue it's editable you can delete it i just want to make sure i threw that in so i didn't forget to tell you about that